Hey, during Hispanic Heritage Month, we here at 3 News want to continue celebrating the accomplishments of those in our Coastal Bend community. Especially as they work to celebrate our culture. Tonight we introduce you to two women. Maybe you haven't met them, but you've definitely seen their work in downtown Corpus Christi, La Palmera Mall, and the Antonio y Garcia Arts and Education Center. The fact that I get to make things colorful and transform spaces and walls. There's a lot of that here at the Garcia Arts and Education Center, where art, education, and culture all come together to create a fun, inclusive, creative space here on the city's west side. It's a full circle moment for muralist Mayra Zamora, who would visit the area with her family growing up and now I get to work on this side of town, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. The center named after Antonio y Garcia, nicknamed the Michelangelo of South Texas, having taught generations of artists across the region, Mexico and Corpus Christi. One of his pieces can be seen here at the center dating back from 1953. I like to say that the center is a hidden gem in Corpus Christi, so I that's why I'm always talking about it because I want the rest of Corpus Christi to, to know that they're here. And as with pretty much every Every profession, the pandemic took a toll on how we were able to connect with others. That's where social media has become a huge tool for artists like Zamora and still is. Especially for Latino artisans out there, I feel like we're just all together on Instagram. The social media has allowed me not only to be out there with my community and even get the word out like that, but also meet fellow Texans and U.S. international artists as well. I have been um, a muralist for probably about the last 10 years, an artist for the majority of my life. That's Monica Marie Garcia, Corpus Christi born and raised muralist. Alongside Zamora, the two have worked to bring this display to life, a collection of self-portraits made by students on how they see themselves. To the future, to the world, to us, you know, how would you see yourself? And, uh, and so I think that they did a fantastic job of that. Art that celebrates storytelling, a proud heritage, and a vibrant culture. We're very family uh, gatherings, in, you know, para la familia, and also we love color and, and we love color, what can I say? Everybody is actually now celebrating it, is not ignored anymore. Um, I also love the fact that, you know, more people are becoming aware of their culture. <laughs> it was so awesome to spend the afternoon with these two artists yesterday. The display of self portraits that you saw there, though, mm -hmm. at the entrance, it's still being worked on. Yeah. The full display, it already looks really full. Yeah. It's not done yet. It's going to be fully unveiled next month. So you all just got a sneak peek. So it's going to be a sight to see once it is completed that target finish date October 27th. Now, obviously two very, very talented individuals there. Great to see their work around town. It is beautiful.